Good evening everybody and today we are on night number episode number four I believe and this one's going to be the removal of the ancillaries uh, so <clears throat> as you can see all like your time belts visible there wiring all up there as it needs to be next up we'll be shifting this coolant reservoir which is easier said than done There we go, set the coolant reservoir. Yep, alright, need to go on that. Yes, it will, apparently. Should do. Looks like it's a bit small, but okay. Yeah, anyway, I'll figure that out in a bit. So, just pop that out of the way there, for the time being. So, the wire in here is loosened. So, next up, what we've got to do is that wire in there, disconnect. What can you see? Can you actually see anything? So, yeah. Remove that trim clip there, move the alternator, uh, the Idler pulley on there, that's got to come off. Um, yeah, and then like we'll work underneath to remove the bits such as oh Christ, what's the what are they called? What are they called? Uh, the bracket for the drive shaft that'll need that'll be one. Um, yeah, bits and pieces to get to the point where we need to be. Yeah, is that any good? Yeah, that, that should work a bit. Yeah. Right, so first up, trim clip tool to remove this wiring clip here. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, make sure you go back and check those ones out first because they'll they will all tie in together. So next up we're gonna be removing the probably the 10 mil on the um, idler pulley. So we'll get that one cracked off. What I'm going, what I'll probably do is do all the removal videos. Like I'm still undecided on this. Do all the videos of the removals, like full videos, so you know exactly what we're doing, and then do the actual reinstalling as a uh, time lapse or something. Because once you know how to take it apart, it's just the opposite way of putting it back together. So yeah, that's that's what I think I might do. I'm still a bit undecided on that so we'll just have to you'll just have to wait and see uh, what comes at the end of the video because I'm still undecided on whether or not to try and upload these as all removal videos and then do one like big time lapse video of putting it back together uh, that is the Adler pulley off so next up, we will remove the poly B belt tensioner, which I think I might lock in position. That way, then it's <clears throat> not going not gonna to potentially. Well, it, it'll be out of the way of the bolts, so I can actually work it properly. Uh, and then, yeah, it's it's in a position so that when we're reinstalling. The poly V belt, uh, we can slot it all on with very little issue. So that is the pin in because the center of the poly, the center of the poly V belt tensioner is a 
what happens drive. Suck it. Right, Burke, so we are now removing the poly V-bolt tensioner, which is just two 10mm bolts. So we'll just crack them off with the Manuel ratchet. So now we'll use the cordless electric ratchet to wind them up. Like a so. So that then means tension is out with the two ten milli bolts. Can you see that? Yep. So put them all together in our trusty organizer. So that's them out of the way. Next up will be the two 10 mils for the alternator by the looks of it. Because the alternator will have to come off. One cracked. Still winding it out. Come on. Now that's one. The top alternator bolt out, as you can see, rather long. 10 mil, 10 mil bolt head, as a standard bolt has. And the second one, out. So that's two long 10 mils, and that is the alternator bolts out. The only other thing that there's only there'll only be a couple of other things on the alternator. One will be a 13 mil nut for the positive, and for a plug, which you can see from here. Whether or not I can get to it from here is a different story. But I can see it from here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get that from the bottom. I shall get to that. Right, so that is the uh, negative terminal out, uh, which is a, just a plug metal, uh, plastic plug on the side of the on the side of the uh, alternator so now we shall be prizing the alternator off to get it into a position where we can actually get the bottom one So that is the alternator prized off at the top. At the minute we can't actually see where the uh, positive terminal is. I think it's hidden behind a coolant cover. Oh, there it is. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Right, there it is. 13mm nut. 
So what I'm going to try and do is a couple of extensions, a wobbly head. And a 13mm socket. See if we can get it in. Oh, very close. Oh yeah, bugger. It's in a very awkward angle, guys. Very awkward angle. I think what I could do with doing is actually removing a coolant pipe out of the way so we could get to it. Laddie torch is going for a run. I dropped it last night and it snapped the head out of it. So it's now not it now flexes but a bit too much. So it's like a loose flexi head torch now rather than just a flexi head torch right that's the socket on uh, what is that oh i think um, oh yeah bastard right lesson for you there folks disconnect the bloody battery Because that could cause you some issues otherwise. I'm just grab it, gonna grab a terminal cap just to make sure that that doesn't touch and cause me any issues. There, there we go. Right, we're all right now. I think I was leaving it, the uh, battery connected so I could access the boot to s keep some of the uh, car's parts in. Right, then. That is, wherever that's gone, that. The 13mm off the alternator. Tell you something. This game isn't for the people, isn't for those <clears throat> that don't like uh, a challenge. You have to be nimble. A lot more nimble than you'd realise. Especially when it comes to smaller engine bays on stuff like Fiestas and stuff. Let's see if I can uh, go underneath and work that out to bring, <clears throat> show you an alternator. alternator right yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut out cut back in make sure this is actually recording because we're 15 minutes into this and I don't want to have spent 15 minutes stripping it down and not actually recorded any audio so I'll catch you guys in a minute right so we're back in uh, next up what I think I'm gonna do is disconnect the bottom radiator hose and drop all the coolant out uh, it's just a Jubilee clip, so I will dig out my uh, coolant drain pans because I have separate ones, I believe, uh, if I can remember where I've actually put them, we had a rejig in here and uh, I lost track of everything because I remember where I used to keep it, not where I keep it now.
等等。Sorry about that. Bit noisy. Right. In fact, what I'll do is I'll bring you guys down to the bottom where I am, so you can see. Don't mind my monkey shoes. Can't be, can't be wearing any nice ones for doing this. Right there we go. You can see. Right, so I'm going for this jubilee clip here. Just a nice pair of pliers, like a set. Wiggle it off. And then just wiggle the pipe off. There we go, that's that, draining itself. What I'll do is I'll go unscrew the expansion tank lid, then it'll drain a bit quicker. Hey, up there. Right, with regards to antifreeze, make sure you do wash it away because it is toxic. So you do not want that all over the road drive anywhere, yeah, because you'll get some very uh, upset people with some very potentially extremely sick animals and you do not want that <laughs> it's not nice no one wants to think of a sick animal so we uh yeah we don't want that that's not the aim of the game we're here to fix cars not cause problems well not just fix cars clean cars enjoy cars all that sort of thing so yeah we'll just uh there's just a uh, train clip up here for some of the wiring. Just wiggle it, work that out. Oh, bloody thing. What a pain. That's an absolute pain in the ass. Some of these trim clips come out lovely, and then other ones like this bastard just battle you every step of the way. wiring off the comp aircon compressor of course you do not preventing to come off without a pick so yeah uh, if you ever get any wiring that's being a bit of a bastard get a little pick in Surprise it off. Surprise the actual clip off while you uh, work it.
Right guys, so we're back in on the roof here. And we're going for the oh, sorry guys, knocking you out of the way. Never ideal. We're going for this drive shaft bracket here. Get it out of the way so that we can actually that's where the uh, torque multiplier is going to be going. So you've got two 13 mil nuts holding this back bit of the bracket on. So first off you get that off. <clears throat> Didn't take me long to grab. I thought it was up at the top. So that's one nut. higher up ones which are tens by the look of it. Sorry guys. Right, back it over So there's three 10 mil bolts up at the back of this bracket. That I'll try and... I believe there's three anyway. I can't really see from here. Not, not the ideal, most ideal spot to be in. But I'm trying to do it so that you've got as much visibility as I can give you. Two, that's one, two, and then three there. <sighs> that's three cracks. I think that should be all. Let's get the cordless ratchet and find out. Out, as you can see. Let's turn that bolt. So put these together. So the right way. Straight in the eye, people. Straight in the eye. Right, so what we're gonna have to do is remove this knock, knock this knock sensor here and this pen mill here for the dunk pin as I call it to go in. So what I'm gonna do is this cool one has no black buckle so it's got dripping on my face. <clears throat> yeah, I think we've got oh, I've got cool in my eye, that stings. We'll 
lost the light somewhere, maybe. I don't know, I don't know actually. Oh, that's that 10 out. And that is a Tarx. That looks a bit. Potentially a Tarx that I want in peace. back and I have a selection of talks with me. There we go. Nice to temp. Alright, let's find the ratchet to get it cracked it off. sensor There is the knock sensor, so that is out of the way. And then, last but not least, well, the last two things probably leave that for now the oil filter, but we need to remove the starter motor. So, what we've got is a little clip here 13 mil there, 10 there, get them two off. Then, you've got a 10 mil there at the bottom, and then a 10 mil. Might have to be. It might not be up to me. It's 10 or 13 at the top. So, I'm getting the socket. I'm going to ratchet, regardless of ratchet. Got everything I should. I'm going to do the music in the bottom. So, start off with. 13 might need a deep 13 actually but we'll give her a go with what we've got no look right so that is that cracked sorry guys I'm knocking you again oh Then we have 10 cracked. Oh, sorry guys. to figure a way of making it a bit easier for you guys to see everything we're doing uh, while we do it. So that is the 10 and 13 off of the starter. So that will be the wiring out the way. So now I'll crack the 10 mil bolt at the bottom but I will all I'm gonna do is crack the bottom one first and then I'll go and remove the top one that way then 
at least we've got something supporting because we'll be removing it out the bottom. cut out now and cut back in at the top so you can see us removing that bolt and then we'll come back down at the bottom try to get you in a decent position to show you removing the start motor so i'll see you guys in a minute right so we're back in at the top uh, and i forgot to say that at this point you'll need to actually remove the battery because it's down there is where the start bolt is that you need to remove so Battery terminal, 10 mil for the positive. And you've got 10 mil, 10 mil, 8 mil for the uh, battery cover. And just move this. Ah, yeah, 10 mil there for the other battery terminal. So I've got some sockets. Need longer socket. Bolt. Right, so I'm back with a deep ten. like so and then this bracket here comes out like so and now you just remove the battery like so so then you've got three tens down there what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little impact make these ones come out a bit easier So, one, two, three. So that's the three tens out of there. What you're probably thinking is, once you got to this point, right, the battery tray is, we're, we're down at one side, which, yes, it is, by the ECU. So, what I'm going to do at this point is, Okay, we've got a aftermarket or aftermarket tracker or something on the side here. By the looks of it, never ideal because that's hindering us getting to where we need to get to. Well, not really the most, but just move this out of the way just enough to like that we're able to get to the starter bolt. Let's grab another light source. This is something you really do need a lot of torches. So down there, right about there. I don't know if any of you can see that, but right down there, there is a 13 mil. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take you off the tripod, just this for this bit, and send you into the void and see what we can see. Uh, uh, there. 13mm bolt, and that is what you need to remove, sorry I'm a bit shaky, 
I'm about the full extension of my arm. But yeah, 13 mil bolt there. Because then the thread comes through from the other bolt to there. And then that will remove the starter motor. So yeah, I'll pop you back on the tripod, the trusty tripod, while I grab the tools I need to take that out. Ratchetta, trusty old Milwaukee one, on to wind that bolt out. You've over misbehaving. Come on, you. Get to where you need to be. Trust the old Milwaukee. I dropped it. So anyway, we'll have to go underneath uh, to retrieve that and get the starter bolt out at the bottom. So what I'll do is leave behind what I don't need. Tip with me what I do. And let's try and find somewhere for you guys to see what we're doing. So we're underneath, underneath. Never ideal, never ideal. Underneath, underneath. There you go. You're for a jump. He jumps. So, what can you see? Not a lot right there. So, let's move you to here. And you can see just through. See if I can get you in a better position so you can see that properly. That is the starter motor. So let's try and put this somewhere where it'll actually shine a bit of light on the situation. Yep, checking me uh, too much away. I don't want to be doing that. Right, there you go. You can see. So now, what I'm going to do is wind up and up. that bolt out as you can see that's a 10 mil like a saw let's find that other one actually I'll find that in a minute <clears throat> because I don't want this coming loose and dropping my sweet it, it's still tight right that's another ideal I must have miscalculated Let me just have a fumble around uh, I need to move you guys a minute, sorry. Right, uh. yeah, friends, like it should be. Oh, that is solid. Right, I'm going to cut out a minute, guys, and then cut back in to see what's happening. So see you guys in a minute. Well, anyway, guys, she's out. And... It was just a bit stuck. Uh, I think it just a bit of uh, al aluminium oxide had uh, built up, hindering it coming off. So yeah, I think that's all that that was. Um, yeah. So the starter's off. All the ancillaries are off. Let's uh, go have a gander. Yeah, so starters off, all ancillaries are off. Let's just bob this uh, battery tray back in somewhere near. Yeah, it doesn't need to be in properly by any means because we've got a lot still to do. 
So yeah, all ancillaries are off. So now it's in a it's in a position where we can rotate the engine over to uh, time it up and uh, lock lock it up before taking the crank pulley off and battling that side cover. So that's probably what the next video is going to be about. Um, we do. Uh, I'd just like to thank you to everyone that's watched this video to see um, the process of removing the ancillaries and everything. It's probably not been the best, most ideal video because it's just been a bit of a mismatch of uh, bits and pieces. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Uh, as ever, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Um, this is probably going to end up being seven part, eight part series. It's like, yeah, it's. Uh, I think we're on number four now. Uh, number five will be the removal of the side cover. Uh, six, timing, replacing the timing belt, uh, an oil pump belt. Seven, um, building building it back up. I would have said, yeah. That's I think that's where we're going with it. So yeah, just thank you for everyone that's watching these videos. We do massively appreciate it. Uh, as ever, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, it would mean a massive lot to all of us here. Uh, well, all I say all of us, there's two of us. So yeah, there's the little fez bomb uh, on the trusty Mac Tools axle stands. Um, yeah, so just get a bit of an image for the uh, thumbnails. So yeah, thank you guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe.